Hi, hope you're well. Um, today I just really would like to share my heart with you with what I've been going through for the past, let's say, um, month and so. I've been in the fitness industry for over 10 years, competing in fitness bikini competitions, working as a personal trainer, Pilates instructor, dancing for many years. And so I started competing in 2009, 2010. I basically well, for four years, really focused on competing in fitness bikini competitions. My last competition was in 2012, and then I took a break for four years. Last year, well, the reason you're probably wondering is why I took a break is I was really getting into CrossFit and absolutely loving it, and I was trying to fall pregnant. So last year and obviously this thing of competing it's inside of me i love being on stage i love performing and just really motivating and inspiring people so last year i wanted to compete again to start doing a fitness competition started dieting starting getting everything ready and i just felt in my heart that i don't know this is not the right thing to do that i shouldn't do it so i stopped with really focusing on the competition diet and I just did a photo shoot. Don't know if you can hear it, but there's a airplane mirage something in the background. <laughs> so, so I'm not gonna wait for it to go away, you're gonna really hear it now. And I'm not gonna start all over with the um, recording. Um, where was I? Okay, so this year I started, I just felt in my heart that the time is right and I said, I really said and I pray to God that this year when I compete, may it please have meaning. I don't just want to get on stage because I want to win. I'm a very competitive person by nature. Um, that's why I do CrossFit. <laughs> I love competing. And I think everyone loves winning or, yeah, if you don't, that's also okay. So I don't, uh, when I started dieting with and focusing on doing the Rossi Classic, Rossi Grand Prix, I didn't tell anybody. Only my husband knew. I didn't even tell the organizer of the show because I was supposed to judge at the show. It was just a it was a personal journey for me. The reason why I didn't tell anyone is because I also I wanted this competition to mean something. To mean something to someone. Let's say for example, if I have to get to backstage, well, obviously I have to die to get to the show. If I have to get backstage and feel that I need to say something to someone to encourage them, I was willing to do that. I mean, that was my focus. My focus was to have this competition, for me to get on stage, being out of the fitness arena competition area for the past four years, I wanted this competition to have a meaning. But don't get me wrong, I went through challenges like you cannot believe. <laughs> um, in four weeks, I started dieting. I always eat healthy throughout the year. I, I always eat healthy. and But obviously, those of you who do compete know that the competition diet is a much stricter than a healthy diet, if I can say it that way. In four weeks, I didn't lose anything. No centimeters, no kilograms on the scale, nothing, nothing. And that emotionally like really kills me because you're working so hard. I'm going to train twice a day. I eat, I'm very strict when it comes to dieting, so I really am strict. So in four weeks, not to lose anything is so demotivating and you feel like this is not worth it, I can't do this. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, you feel, you, you literally, <laughs> please tell me on this YouTube video if anyone experiences the same way like I do. I look at myself in the mirror and I feel so fat. I feel like my fat is almost burning me. <laughs> Because I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, oh my word, look at this. I start looking at all the issues and all the problems and I get so obsessed. I'm so like anxious and obsessed the whole time about what my body looks like. So immediately I changed my focus. My focus is was to have a meaning, not to get to stage to win. That wasn't my focus, but... That's so naturally in me and that we, we get so obsessed and we change our focus. As soon as we change our focus, we start noticing, noticing the wrong in our lives. And immediately getting back my focus again and focusing on why. My reason for doing this competition is 
I want to inspire and I want to motivate. And definitely it was a challenge. Constantly, I, there was also a stage where I literally closed all the mirrors in the house and I, I fasted from looking at myself in the mirror and just knowing that this process, I'm trusting the process. Even if I don't lose anything, I, I, it is going to happen. Four, five, six weeks down the line, it is going to happen. And I constantly need to realign my focus to make sure that I'm focusing on the right reason and not on my, how can I say, my, um, my fleshly problems, desires of, of well, how do I look? What are people going to think if I go on stage and my bum is not in shape? I need to, I, I had to block all of that out and focus on my reason for getting on stage. So quickly jump to, um, I can keep you busy for hours for what I've learned in this journey <laughs> but let's quickly jump to got to the Rossi Grand Prix and I was so blessed got on stage it was the most amazing experience for me ever most organized show that I've been in I've been judging shows for many years and Marco Rossi really did